Hi guys, it's me, Carrie. And first of all, it's December now, which is crazy. But secondly, I want to give you a small update slash announcement as to what's been happening with my project called Jump Cutter. Now, if you don't know what Jump Cutter is, you can check out the first video I'm going to link in the description, which talks about what Jump Cutter is. But basically, it's a little piece of code I wrote last year that will help automatically edit your videos for you by automatically cutting out the silent parts. And that makes your video more concise and more pleasant to watch. So, in the 12 months or so since then, my friend Fly in the Kite and his friends have been working round the clock trying to turn my little piece of code into a full-fledged piece of software. And you can check out that piece of software by going to jumpcutter.com and you can see we have this fully fledged website talking about the piece of software. <gasps> it's my video, that's crazy. Um, you can click learn more to learn more about what they've been up to, updates. There's also a Discord server for them to talk with their users and you know get feedback, learn what the users want, what they don't like, what they like, and so on. And on this website, you can also create an account, you can also download the software. But I, what I wanna show you in this video is that software itself. So I've already downloaded Jump Cutter, it's right here on my desktop. And if I double click on it, it will actually launch the piece of software. And I don't want to log in on screen right now because then you might figure out my password. So I'm going to stop, but I'm going to cut. So here we go. This is essentially the home page of Jump Cutter, the software. And you can see there's a dev log on the right. So you can see what the most recent updates are. They're always looking for more developers. So if you've got programming experience, join their Discord servers and let them know. Um, anyway, if you want to start a new project, you click on this plus button for new project and then click on this thicker, thick with a K, plus button to import some media. So let me choose some media. Okay, I think I've just found a video clip that we can test on. So this here is a video that I recorded two years ago to celebrate the eighth birthday of the scale of the universe. So let's drag it into our timeline and we can click around the timeline to see different portions of the video. Oh, by the way, it's upside down because I recorded it on my iPhone upside down. Oops, whatever. Anyway, we can also click play to listen to myself speak. Scale of the Universe is eight years old today. So today is January 23rd, 2018. And Scale of the Universe's birthday is... Hold on, I can load it. Uh, okay. So you can see it's a very sloppily made video. There's lots of pauses that we don't want our viewers to have to sit through. So how do we get Jump Cutter to apply its magic to it? Easy. We go to the Tools tab in the upper left right here, and here's our list of tools. We're planning on adding a lot more tools here, but right now we just want to nail the, nail the basics. So here's Jump Cutter. We can also tinker around with these settings if we wanted to. I like, I like making the frame margin pretty short because it helps make the effect really clear. And once we're satisfied with those settings, click Jump Cut. And what this is going to do is it's going to upload the audio of this video up into the cloud, into the servers, and then this, the Jump Cutter server will do its thinking, do its calculations, and figure out where the silent bits are and send that data back to us. So here we go, here's that data. You can see there's a waveform that shows when I'm talking, and that means that like right here it's quite loud. And is old, then 20 year old me now is prehistoric. I am so... And then in the silent bits, I'm not talking, and those delay about to are highlighted in this dark magenta slash purple-ish color. And the purplish the purplish regions are the things that Jump Cutter is going to remove when we make our editing. So let me just play through a short portion here to kind of show you what's going on. And I guess I'll do this hand motion when it's like silent, I guess. January 23rd, 2018, and Scale of the Universe's birthday is, hold on, I can load it. Uh, Okay, sorry for the delay. I'm about to okay. load. You get the idea. When the playhead is in a purple region, it's quiet. And what we can also do is say the algorithm made a mistake, or we just want to edit what the algorithm said. Like the algorithm said that we want to cut out the entire first area because I'm just, it's really quiet. Universe just turned six years old. Hooray. But that's because I'm just listening to my own video and maybe I want to keep that even though it is really quiet. 
Well, I can just edit that myself using my own mouse. And now this part is no longer in a purple region and it will be kept. So once we're satisfied with these purple regions, how do we actually make the jump cutter edit? Real easy, we just click on this scissor icon on the left like this, boop, it's been cut. And basically all of those purple regions have been removed and we can see these vertical dotted lines where the seams were. So you can see that that first region, which was all silent, or very quiet at least, Hooray. I can't believe I was are still in the video. But once you get to these cuts, you can see like things ac we actually jump cut. Boy, if 18 is old, then 20 year old me now is prehistoric. I am so old that when I was born, Google didn't exist. Okay, I need to stop talking about how old I am because I'm 20 here and I'm 23 now. But let's jump forward to like a more visible region where the cuts happen. So take a, take a look at this. January 23rd, 2018, and the other universe's birthday is... Hold on, I can load it. Uh, okay, sorry for the delay. I'm about to load the original scale of the universe page. The scale of the universe posted to Newgrounds under our Newgrounds account called Photoshop. And the date of first uploading is January 3rd, 23rd, 2010. So yeah, eight years old. Can't believe it's been that long. Kids born when Scale of the Universe came out are now in second or third grade. That's kind of scary, but you know, it's kind of nice. You know, I've been on the internet for a while now. And speaking of being on the internet for a while, our 10 year anniversary on YouTube is February 4, 2018. So that's two weeks away and I might do something special, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so that's my video of the day. I'm gonna go eat now. Okay, yeah, so that was the video. By the way, um, I did end up doing something special on the 10 year anniversary. I made the Jing Jing Squisher contraption, whatever. But yeah, you can see that that whole silent period where I was fumbling on my computer trying to load the page, it would just cut out. And this version is just much easier and quick to watch. And it didn't take any manual editing on my part besides that little adjustment at the beginning. And when you're done, you can like render the video. Um, I'm not gonna show that because you've already seen sort of the gist of it. Um, but yeah, if you want to try out a tool like this to edit your videos, go to jumpcutter.com um, and you can download it. And, um, you know, whatever comes out of this video editor, you can upload straight to YouTube or you can import into a different video editor if you want to apply more effects. But I'm just really proud of Fly in a Kite and his developer friends because they've been working on this so hard. Like, they've been really passionate about it and, like, I think, you know, people really start to get serious about working at this, like, around winter of last year. So it's been almost a full year of just programming, building a website, talking to users, trying to figure out how to get PayPal to work, all this stuff without, like, any guarantee that it would be successful in the end. You know, they're making an investment, a hope that this will be a product that people will want in the future. It was all a leap of faith in a way. So I'm really proud that they finally got to the end of it after 12 months or maybe longer, I'm not sure. Um, well, it's not the end because our plan from here on out is to sort of listen to user feedback and add even more tools um, like a Twitch VOD editor as well that is also automatic. Like the whole idea is all these tools are automatic that you don't have to do any manual editing yourself if you don't want to. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say. I want to get this video out before it's too late today. Um, go check it out. Yeah. I'll see you later. Bye.